everybody, it's day three of 31 Days of Horror, and first off, I want to talk a little bit about why we celebrate 31 Days of Horror in October. Because most people who don't watch horror movies decide to watch horror movies in October. So it's the Horror Syndicate's job, and many other websites and friends and, and family who watch horror to help educate these people. Uh, that's why I mentioned The Sleeper yesterday, which you can find on ScreamTeamReleasing.com. It's a movie that not many people may know about. And then there's uh, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a classic. Everybody should watch that. So the 31 Days of Horror is not about being a part of a cool crowd, and it's not cool if you're not participating, like one of our guys. You know who, who I'm talking about. But uh, 31 Days of Horror is more of an ed education, suggestion education. So today, for day three, I'm going to jump into the Italian horror. And it's, uh, yeah, I know I'm wearing a Nightmare on Elm Street shirt, but... Brian White did a, f a fabulous article on Dream Warriors. I'm not going to do Nightmare yet. Nightmare is obviously one of my favorites. But i got to go with some Italian horror movies because I don't think enough people watch Italian horror. It's so good. There's gory. There's mystery. Uh, there's, there's a lot of cannibals. There's so much good stuff. So today, uh, Zombie, Lucio Fulci, one of my favorite movies. And this is probably... Uh, I'd say the best way to jump into a gory Italian horror movie. It's got Ian McCulloch, Tissa Ferro. It's got probably one of the most famous zombie fights of all time, which is the zombie under the water fighting a shark. Yes, that's that's true. So Tissa Ferro and Ian McCulloch are going to this island on a boat, and they decide to scuba dive. This woman decides to scuba dive topless, of course. She sees a, sh a tiger shark is what it looks like. And then there's a zombie who tries to attack her, but instead it goes after the shark and there's a little tussle under the water and the, it looks like the zombie's winning because he bites into the shark and everything. It's really crazy. Also, one of my favorite scenes of all time in any zombie movie, again, this is a gore movie, is uh, actually the cover here. If you can see it, it's called, it's the, this is called The Splinter. By the way, best edition of zombie they have ever released is right here. Okay, Blue Underground released it uh, last year. It's fantastic. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, you know, the zombie breaks through and pulls this girl closer and closer, and then the splinter goes right through her eye. Wonderful stuff. Great effects. Great music. The great Fabio Fritzi, of course, does the score. Lucio Fulci is one of my favorites of all time. Definitely my favorite director of the Ator Italian, Ator Italian uh, uh, genre. Uh, of course, there's Argento and Lindsay, and there's a bunch of them, but... Suave. Anyway, uh, Fulci's my favorite. And this is a way to get into it. Check this out. It's on Shudder, I do believe. Shudder's five bucks a month, people. If you want to watch horror, you can watch Shudder. Shudder is wonderful. Check it out. It's got my four-star seal of approval. But check out Zombie when you do, because it's totally worth watching. It's one of the best zombie movies ever. I'm just going to call it what it is. Of course, it is not a follow-up. Directly, follow, direct follow up to Dawn of the Dead, but they like to say that they, those Italians, they're wily. That's why it's called Zombie, too, because in Italy, Dawn of the Dead was called Zombie. So check out Zombie, Lucio Fulci Gold, Zombie Gore Gold, and then uh, check back with us tomorrow. If you like this video, hit the like and share this goddamn video, please. Please.